If you're running a team or a company with 50 people or more, you've probably heard this complaint. The number of meetings is too damn high. Your team can't get anything done. Something has to change, but what? Hey everyone, I'm Omri. I've been a tech founder and COO since 2018. And this is How to Run a Company, temporary name, where I share some homebrewed insights about some of my biggest passions, company operations, management philosophy, and organizational culture. Today, I'm kicking off a four episode series about organizational time management, specifically focusing on recurring meeting cadences. In this video, the person in the series, and actually my first video ever, I'm gonna talk about some behavioral patterns that lead to this meeting inflation. Then I'm gonna draw an obvious analogy between these behaviors and quantum mechanics. Why? Because I'm a geek and I think it's cool. Finally, I'm going to use this uh, quantum mechanics analogy to propose a hypothetical ideal scheduling system, which I call the bosonic calendar, TM, registered trademark, etc., etc. Okay, TLDR. At some point, I realized my team's problem wasn't that there were too many meetings per se, it was that there were too many participants in those meetings. After all, if we take each meeting and we just make it smaller, each team member would have less meetings to attend. This is despite the overall number of meetings staying the same. Mind equals blown, I know. Now, I can direct my team to have smaller meetings until the cows come home. But if I want a better chance at success, I should try to understand the underlying dynamics that lead to large meetings. I'm going to try to do that now. What I've noticed is that many of us tend to book our recurring meetings on time slots that are free or mostly free for the invitees. That sounds reasonable. Once we've done that, many of us tend to invite just a few too many people. First of all, our meeting is very important. If someone is able to attend, they probably should attend, right? Besides, if we leave someone out, they may get offended. So inviting them is really the safest choice. And if they decline our invitation, despite them being available, we can also get offended. Since they don't want to offend us, they show up. That's how you can end up with everybody in the company on a seemingly arbitrary topic. But it gets worse. Because we invited everybody in the company, no other meeting can take place at the same time. So when another team member needs to schedule yet another new recurring meeting, they're gonna take down yet another time slot in the same manner, like a sacrificial lamb to the low productivity gods. Now, I happen to be a physics graduate and I noticed something which I think is cool. This behavior is eerily reminiscent of quantum particles called fermions. So, 60 second physics lesson here, please bear with me. In quantum mechanics, there are two types of elementary particles. There's fermions and then there's bosons. The distinguishing feature of fermions is that they hate occupying the same state as other fermions. If a fermion goes on a bus, they're always gonna go to the empty bench if they found one because they just don't like company. Bosons, on the other hand, are particles that love each other's company. If a boson goes on a bus and all the benches are empty, save for one other boson sitting at the back, our new boson is going to say, hey, that guy looks cool. I'm going to go sit next to that guy. And if more bosons came by, they would likely sit right on the laps of the previous two. Okay, so what does this have to do with our scheduling problem? Well, we notice that people tend to book their meetings on free time slots and by inviting too many participants, they tend to block others from using the same time slots concurrently. That sounds an awful lot like fermionic behavior to me. So I had a thought experiment. What would a bosonic calendar look like? What would it look like if all the meetings kind of enjoyed being squeezed together on the same time slot like a bunch of bosons? And then I had this kind of a vision. Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., five different meetings are happening simultaneously, each one with a small focus team tackling a different business challenge. I imagined fitting all my company's meetings into just a handful of massively concurrent weekly slots while leaving the remainder of the week completely free of meetings. I think my organization would be able to tackle a lot more challenges and make more decisions much more rapidly. And then I figured out the best part. In a bosonic calendar, when I'm not in a meeting, no one's in a meeting. That means everyone is going to be available and responsive when I am. Now, does this sound like a pipe dream? Well, it is. But I found that a few simple steps can actually take you pretty close to this ideal. So if you want to transform your calendar and experience some bosonic bliss for yourself, 
you may want to consider liking and subscribing because I'm going to share some tips in the next video in the series. Please leave a comment if you find this topic interesting, and I hope to see you next time.